Yeah. Now, uh, and David went up at the saying of God, verse 19, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Ornan turned back and saw the angel and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David and went out of the threshing floor, <laughs> bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, <laughs> that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it uh, me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. <laughs> And Ornan said unto David, Take it to thee, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, <laughs> and the threshing instruments for wood, and uh, all, and the wheat for the meat offering. I give it all. <laughs> and King David said to Ornan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price, for I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, <laughs> nor offer burnt offerings without cost. <laughs> so David gave to Ornan for the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight. <laughs> and David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord, and he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar burnt offering. <laughs> And the Lord commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheath thereof. <laughs> At that time, when David saw that the Lord had answered him, uh -huh. <laughs> in the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there for the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses made in the wilderness, in the altar, in the burnt offering, <laughs> where at the season in the high place of Gibeon, but David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. <laughs> now, this is a nice story. <clears throat> and we know there are no angels, there are no demons, there's no Satan, and there's no dogs. Pooch! Of course, I could. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. As much as you say it's a nice story. Mm -hmm. Um... Did those 70,000 men die because somebody decided to uh, provoke God to anger? <laughs> now, um, I know Satan used uh, David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, was the argument between uh, God and Satan or was the argument between David and God? See, you don't really understand the influences of paying the full cost. <laughs> now, for every attorney in the United States of America that said, well, it's nice that he uses actuaries, and it's nice that they calculate the actual damages. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not getting rid of my dog because my dog pays me. Well, you're not going to pay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're just not going to do it. You're not going to enforce the laws. You're not going to give me my sons. And you're going to refuse to allow me to use the actual judicial system of the United States. <laughs> well, this Bible is full of nice stories. Yes. Now, in uh, Psalms 127, yeah. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Ouch. <laughs> Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. <laughs> it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. <laughs> for so he giveth his beloved sheep. Oh. <laughs> Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. <laughs> and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Uh. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of thy youth. Yes, happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. <laughs> they shall not be ashamed, <laughs> but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. <laughs> now this story in Psalm 127, yes, let's say that your dog built your house and not the Lord and you fucked your way through life because you're in the top secret family of those that are a combination of individuals. 
You built your house in vain, Poe. And then the city of Port Angeles right now. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no reason for you to get up, police officer. Uh -huh. You can be on every citizen, and you don't need to get out of bed every day. Pope, it doesn't matter for you because you have a dog that will go to work for you. Yes. That refuses to arrest any of the members of the family of those that are dogs. Yes. And always puts in jail the actual citizen. Mm -hmm. Don't even get out of bed. See, as it said, the watchman waketh, but in vain. Yeah. Uh, they labor in vain, that except the Lord keep the city. Yes. Now, we decided we're giving Port Angeles over to the top secret payroll. Yes. Of those that have dog lookalikes. Yes. So all the oaths, the badges, the attorneys, and the judges could stay home and stay in bed. Ouch! Now, listen, judge. <laughs> It's nice that you think these are nice stories, but I would say that your house was built in vain because I'm going to sue you for it, Pope. Then I'm going to have you put in prison. Oh, then I'm going to sue you for any income that you get for the rest of your life. Ah! Everything you've done in your life has been vanity. Ouch! Every fucking thing you own was in vain, coach, because you thought that your deep pockets of those that do not believe a fucking thing like them, everything you've done in your life was vanity. <laughs> now, as I said, I see lawsuits, Judge. Ooch. You don't enforce, yes, you don't support, pooch, and you deny the existence of your oath of office. <laughs> you got elected because you rigged the elections right now. <laughs> Every fucking thing you own is... <laughs>